That's a very good question. Gluten sensitivity and celiac disease have a lot of symptomatic overlap, meaning there's a lot of people who when they consume gluten or they're exposed to gluten in their diet, have a variety of subsequent symptoms. So those can be things like bloating, abdominal pain, diarrhea, some people have constipation, even skin rashes. Now sometimes that means they have celiac disease. Celiac disease is an autoimmune condition where the small bowel, um, where there's a, this trigger from gluten causes a process in the small bowel that um, makes it not absorb other nutrients and things in the diet very well and can lead to a variety of consequences like osteoporosis or GI symptoms or anemia or vitamin D deficiencies or a variety of other things. And that's an autoimmune disease and people with celiac cannot be exposed to gluten under any circumstances. So our recommendation is that they have a strict gluten-free diet for the rest of their lives. There's another subset of people who have the same symptoms when they're exposed to gluten and they will come in and tell you, I'm 100% sure I have celiac because I've tested it and every time I have gluten I have these reproducible symptoms and when I cut out gluten I feel great. What's interesting is when we test those people for celiac, they don't have it. So that's something we call gluten sensitivity or gluten sensitive IBS or irritable bowel syndrome. And it's certainly a real condition where there is a subset of people who do not have the classic markers either from blood tests or for small bowel biopsy to confirm celiac disease but have all the same clinical manifestations. The good news is if you have gluten sensitive IBS or gluten sensitivity and not celiac disease, you don't have to be so strict about gluten avoidance in the diet. So those people, we tell them, you know, if you feel better without having gluten, then certainly avoid gluten because that's common sense. But if you want to reintroduce it and try it back periodically, that's okay too. And if you're able to tolerate it in small amounts, then by all means, enjoy. Um, but it's an important distinction to make because it does have some monitoring consequences down the road and it impacts how strictly we're going to recommend that you be with a gluten-free diet. The good news is it's easy to test for and confirm celiac disease, so that's another reason why we would want you to see your gastroenterologist if you're worried you have symptoms triggered by gluten. It's, it's a quick and easy test to do to assess whether you have celiac or not.